Hi, Tony from Nortrack here. I'm going to show you how to um, manage your assets this morning. So you want to be going to the asset list, which is the purple icon on the right here, or drop it down from the list, from the top menu, sorry, um, and manage assets. Here you'll see all of the trackers that you have in your account. Some of you will only have one. However, it's important, some of the admin features of this can be important to you particularly if it's stolen. If I go to um, one of the, the assets here, let's go to this one, see if it contains any information. You should be able to um, use an asset code here at the bottom. This is what appears on your map view. So trader three is what's, what you see in the map view. This is device serial number, which we don't want you to edit because that will throw you off the system and we'll have to put you back on. Um, the asset type and the name, then you can put more descriptive description in here. But um, the interesting inf tabs that I want you to look at this morning is the info tab, where you can put your manufacturer model of your trailers or assets in, the year, registration number, engine number if it has one, a chassis number, some extra information in the custom fields here if you want. Um, Basically, it's worth filling in this page. If your asset ever gets stolen, you have all the information in one place and you only have one place to look. It's highly likely that if it's stolen, you'll come straight to the tracking platform and this gives you everything you need to report it to the police. Also of use if you have lots of assets or you're a plant hire company with lots of assets um, is the photo description. Um, so you can distinguish which one um, has been stolen if and when it does get stolen um, this is very useful and allows it all to be in one place for you okay that's it really managing your assets it just means filling in these form fields and having it to hand if the worst should happen hope that's helpful